hello welcome to this video in this video and few upcoming videos we'll learn new concepts on how to use shape files along with add polygons function to draw boundaries over the map additionally we will also learn concepts about shape click event which is very helpful when we click on a particular shape and we want to trigger um, series of events based on that let me show you an example so first of all um, in this map we have got different countries basically we are showing the world map and the the map is uh, made using the shape files the shape file contains the coordinates or in other words geometry which is used by our add polygons function and the result is the shape based on those coordinates now if we take an example here we see india obviously the label is showing but if i click on this it will trigger an event and you see that the map zooms in to the country I click on basically zooms in to the shape I clicked on now you can see a couple of things here as I click click, uh, click on the shape it zooms in first thing second it also has a marker and if I click on it it pops up the name of the country on the right hand side you can also see in the absolute panel we have data which is corresponding to the shape I clicked okay I'm in our studio and this is the code file the first thing we need to do is download the so-called shape file we'll get the shape file on thematic mapping this is the one which I have used for this example I already have the download link we'll use the download dot file function so that the files get downloaded to my working directory also I have already set my working directory once the file is downloaded I will unzip the file so let's run these two lines of code and we see that the unzipping is done let's see the contents of our working directory and we can see I have the code file here and then I've got a bunch of files besides the zip file which are our uh, which are basically the files included in this zip and one of them is shapefile prj.dbf.shx different files have different meaning not going into details but we need these files to be able to draw the shape now let's see the content of shape file so for that we need to load the shape file and we'll begin with loading the required packages let's load the leaflet package and also the RG del package the G del is nothing but geospatial data abstraction library this is what we will use to load the shape file and uh, use the shape file in our code so let me load these two packages okay now there is a function called read OGR this comes with RG Dell package and what we do is we'll use this function to basically read or load the shape file we'll say read OGR will give the DSN basically the destination it's our um, um, uh, working directory and we will give the layer as the base file name so you can see here all these files which we have the base name is tm underscore world underscore borders underscore simpl so this is common to all the types of files 
and we'll give the base name here and let's run the code okay now we need to see the content we can see the content by saying head on my SPDF so if I run this you can see it showed a lot of data plots uh, coordinates you can see different uh, coordinates so, so much of things are there and then it also has some data let me show you which we are going to use in other videos so if I scroll up okay here it is so you can see it has got FIPS ISO uh, we have got name this 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 represents the name of the country the area pop 2005 is uh, relating to population in the year 2005 region sub region longitude and latitude that will be using this uh, column variable in our code later on name this is the name of the country and the longitude and latitude this we are going to display on the right hand side uh, top uh, in the absolute panel okay if you want to uh, directly access the just the data you don't want to uh, see all this you know details whatever we saw here the other option is to say head function on my SPDF at the rate data data is one of the slot so if I run this particular function what we see is we just see the data we don't see all that uh, details uh, you, if you don't want to get into it this is the shortcut or easy way to get through just the data now one important thing is um, you may not see a lot of um, you know uh, column variables in your shape file sometimes shape file uh, may only contain um, you know um, the the shapes and not necessarily all this data which you see here it all really depends on uh, what kind of shape files we have downloaded in this case it does include a population related information which we'll be using later on we can also run a summary on uh, my SPDF and so you can see the summary okay let's move forward so we have loaded the shape file we have seen the content of the shape file now it's time to plot our data over the map so we'll start with leaf creating the leaf map object we'll say leaf let we'll say data equals my spdf we'll add tiles on it and we'll set the view giving latitude equals 10 longitude equals 0 and a zoom level of 2. we'll then use the add polygons function we'll say add polygons and then what this will do is this will draw the boundary or the shape based on the shape files we have given so my SPDF contains the geometry or the coordinates whatever is required to draw the shape will fill the shape with green color this is just to demonstrate when I when when we'll run this will show uh, where the green color goes so basically the shape will be filled with green color and also we are giving the highlight option this is so that when we mouse over uh, the shape the color changes and the color will change the boundary color will change to red and also we are giving the label as name remember we have this name column variable here let me show you name column variable we are going to use this column variable and we'll show the label let's run this So you can see that we have got the um, boundaries we have, we have got the shapes filled with green color and if I mouse over the boundary 
color changes to red.